War 8 of Season 41, I'm bringing my normal team. Salty is facing Matrix. I am first taking Path 1 in Section 1, and then in Path 2, I'm taking Path 5. I actually haven't taken Path 5 in a while, so should be fun. My first fight is going to be Mantis. She's kind of like Null. You don't want her to throw her special one, and if she does, you want to intercept that timer with the special attack. But uh, I'm just going to try to not let her do anything. So I'm just going to do two phases, do lights, and then drop my special two, and then hopefully drop it again. So watch this. I was going to do a parry for masochism and then a parry into a heavy, but I decided that would give me too much power because she had a small health pool. Uh, so we'll see if that was a correct guess. So I dropped a special two, and yeah, so this is perfect. Gets me to almost exactly three bars of power, but just under. Then my special two kills her. So yeah, that was perfect. Uh, the attack was perfect and uh, pretty standard game plan. Simple 22 second fight. The next fight I have is a Mangog. I have done this with and without a power start one boost. And obviously power start one boost is much better. That being said, I'm running not low, but getting close to low and it's not a fight i need one for so uh i won't be using one i also it does have masochism so that's why you see me not parrying but blocking and uh yeah so this this ai was a little bit not great but it is what it is okay here we go drop this special two mostly to reset my uh hits otherwise i would have maybe waited a little bit longer so you get a light intercept there I probably want to get this out of him. There's no reason to take an L3. All right. Okay. I get phase back. And he barely hits in. And I drop another SP2. Okay. Now to stash at me and we should end this fight. There we go. So, not perfect by any means, but uh, got the job done. Just cycled my special twos and was a pretty easy fight. So, not a big deal at all. The next one that I have is an Immortal Abomination. This is rank 5 Immortal Abomination 2. It's Ghost versus I Bomb. I have no business dying here, but uh, it is rank five. Just you know, why not? So uh, same game plan as always, except I'm going to try not to intercept. I believe I messed that up though. The first thing I do is I mess up phase. That's actually my first phase mess up all season, I think, which is still one too many. But uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. So I just combo up to SP two because I do have a PS one more for the next fight than this one. Drop another SP two, and then quickly dash back and drop this. I don't know if it was in the time, uh, might have been, but regardless of whether or not it was in the Fury, it goes ahead and kills. I do believe there's some sort of bug where it ignores protection, I'm not really sure, but regardless, that special did kill. So my next fight is going to be a long shot, that's what the PS1 was really for. It could have gone better. Uh, I elected for a PS1 and a nuke. And you will see how that goes very shortly. So, pretty standard. I'm just going to build up as much power as I can. Then I'm going to intercept, drop special two. Probably could have gotten more power. If I had gotten maybe 2.5 bars of power first when he was still low power, that maybe would have been smart. But instead, I just intercept into SP2. Okay. I phase. And uh, you're about to see something really, really interesting. So... Here we go, slow motion. I drop this special two. He nullifies my buff. Okay, and I hold block because I don't want him, I don't want to find out how much two buffs would do of incinerate damage. So I drop this special two. Protection comes back, which I knew it would do, and he's at 6%. Quickly, I drop my special one. First three hits with the last one connects, he's at 3%, and he drops this L3. Get the minigame bonus. Uh, I do have a 33% special 3 boost on. And, um... Here comes the special 3 lightning bolt. Down to 40%. I'm stunned. He drops 3 hits, 4 hits, 5 hits, and I'm alive. Goes for a heavy. I tap him twice and he dies. So, if I miss the special 3 thing, I'm dead. Uh... That was such a brutal fight. Played very poorly, but also the AI and the RNG were not necessarily on my side. And here it is in fast motion, if you want to see. First, one of my special two cruelties gets nullified. Then it gets nullified again. He gets to L3. And, uh, yeah. So if, if the, that first one doesn't get nullified, I am fine. 
but uh, it is what it is. Uh, he wouldn't have been at L2. I could have been on an intercept, but regardless, he got all the way up to an L3. One might even say that he was lucky to get there. Um, but the real lucky person was me, who took a SP3, a full five combo, and walked out of the fight with 6% health. So a very, very, very close call there. Just generally a, a cluster of a situation. Um, was was not good. But yeah, uh, this next fight I have is Hulkling. The one thing I was really thinking about was, okay, if I get a special one when he doesn't have neutralized, he'll get a Vigilance. I need to be aware of that. And other than that, I'm pretty much good. Because this is a pretty standard fight. I did elect for an invul just because I felt it was safer, and I also elected to parry at the beginning and eat that flourish and pierce because who really cares? So now that pierce can expire, which is worth noting. Okay, here I just dropped a special one just to try to get this SP3, SP1 out of him rather. Okay, there we counter it. Perfect. All right, and now I'm just under. He throws this and like an idiot. What was the one thing I said I would watch? Nah. Nope. And then I get the miss. Like a moron. And so there goes my anvil, which is yay. Uh, he's not really playing ball at all. Gonna drop the special one just to re-up my senses. Just a mixture of really poor play, missing literally the one thing that I was supposed to not miss, and uh, some bad AI. Here we go, he drops the special two. I slowly and cautiously space that out. Do not wanna mess that up. He drops the special one. Okay, space that out, and I drop the L2. Very bad fight and generally a pretty bad war, but I did come out of it clutching up every fight, which is always a good feeling, but I'd prefer not to have to. That being said, uh, it ended up well, I guess, so that's the war.